Learn and play online. In today's video, we are going to be learning about division. What is division? Put simply, division is sharing. The mathematical symbol for division looks like this. Let's go through some examples so you have a better understanding. This is Jess. She has four candies and she is going to share them with her friend Amy. The number sentence for this problem is 4 divided by 2. The number 4 represents the number of candies there are to be shared. The number 2 tells you how many people the candies are being shared amongst. In order to solve the problem 4 divided by 2, we now have to share the candies between Jess and Amy to see how many candies the girls get each. Both Jess and Amy now have two candies each, so the answer to 4 divided by 2 is 2. Let's now try to solve another division problem. Jess is still in our division problem, but this time she has six candies to share with Amy. The number sentence this time is 6 divided by 2, because she has six candies and she is dividing them between two people. Let's now share the candies to see how many the girls will get each. As you can see, the girls have three candies each, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. For our next division problem, we are going to start with the number sentence first. If the number sentence was 8 divided by 2, what does that mean? It means you have 8 objects that you need to divide or share into two groups. You can use any object as long as there are 8 in total. To help us solve this division question, we are going to use 8 stars. If we divide the stars into two groups, how many stars will be in each group? Let's share the stars to find the answer. You can see that after dividing the 8 stars into two groups, there are now 4 stars in each group. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now that we have gone through some examples of division questions, let's learn the names of the parts in a division number sentence. The first number is called the dividend. It tells you how many objects you have in total. The second number is called the divisor. It tells you how many groups you are dividing the objects into. The answer is called the quotient. It tells you how many objects you have in each group once they have been shared. Let's now do one more question. Our new number sentence this time is 12 divided by 3. How many objects do we have in total? Twelve. And how many groups are you going to divide 12 objects into? Three. To help us solve this division question, we are going to use 12 circles and divide them into three groups. How many circles do you think will be in each group? Let's share the circles to find out. There are four circles in each group, so 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Now that we have gone through some examples, you can try to solve these division questions on your own. Remember, you can use any objects to share into groups, as long as you have enough to make the dividends. You can use objects such as pencils, toothpicks, or even Lego pieces as objects to divide with. There will now be a one minute timer so you have time to gather things to use and make sure you pause the video so the answers can be revealed only when you are ready. Have fun dividing!
Here are the answers. How many did you get right? Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.